This, I mean, this might be just out of left field, but what do you tell two people who are getting the same tattoo um, and they're expecting both of them to look the exact same? Like they're, they're expecting to get the exact same outcome. I'm pretty sure there was something like this like a couple of uh, couple of weeks ago, maybe. Yeah, th- this is very common. What do you tell them? Like, Well, ideally we tell them before we tattoo them and people don't like to hear it. But the truth is every single tattoo is handmade and every single client Ooh. has like different things. Should we take a phone call from yeah, the shop? Yeah, let's do it. Great babe tattoo, how can I help you? Uh, uh, I was just trying to see if uh, me and my girl can uh, do a walking. Uh, what kind of tattoo? Uh, do you guys do $20 tattoos or not? No, we do not do $20 tattoos. You're looking for $20 what tattoos? Was what was that? Oh, you're looking for a tattoo that costs $20? Yeah. Yeah, there's really not a shop that will do tattoos for twenty dollars. I mean, it's not really like a thing. Like you could maybe get it on like on a special event day or something, but yeah, like a, a normal setup, the actual materials and the just being in a shop costs more than like twenty dollars a tattoo. So it's kind of hard to make that happen. All right. Uh, what's the minimum uh, you guys do? Uh, oh, our minimum our minimum is uh, eighty dollars for super tiny tattoos. And then it's usually, but it's usually like a hundred bucks for, you know, anything like of any size. I see. I see. All right. Thank you. Right on, man. Good luck. All right. Well, twenty dollar tattoo. Dang. $20 tattoos. Could you imagine? I, I don't have to imagine. I've seen $20 tattoos over and over again because I fix them all the time. In my mind, I picture someone with a, uh, like one of those, um, hot rod things that they yeah, use like to brand hot. cows. Sure. You want a $20? There you go. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to like exaggerate to people like what it costs to make tattoos, but at the end of the month, if I divide all my expenses, yeah, like it really does come out to like almost $50 a tattoo. Like it yeah. legit does. Like, I mean, that's, that's including the paint. That's time. That's yeah. You rent, know. insurance, advertising, yeah. all, I mean, all the stuff like, just my, the, the, the needle groupings we use here, mm-hmm. like I use expensive ones. They're, you know, they're a dollar or $3 uh, a cartridge. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, it's not like the inks are the most expensive thing on the planet, but they're not free, you know. All, right. You know, all that stuff adds up. Like doing a $20 tattoo, especially if the, if the shop's taking half, like they, there would be no money. Like yeah. literally, yeah, I don't, you literally couldn't make money. You, I, you couldn't even make money on fifty dollar tattoos. Honestly, you'd still be losing money. See, I, what I thought was he wanted like a twenty dollar, like oh, uh, like a twenty, a 20 dollar bill tattoo, uh, and you said you adamantly said no. And I'm like, is that like a gang thing? Like, it, like uh, getting like a twenty dollar bill on you? Is that like a weird? It's something I don't know. Well, I thought that that's what that was. <laughs> there is like a running joke in the tattoo community because there there is like a like a money rose. Thing that happens uh-huh. like people want like a tattoo of a rose made out of like money oh sure so sure. it's like a hundred bunch of hundred dollar bills and it makes like a rose right almost every person that asks for one of those can't pay for it is that, that's the ch- dude it is but it's true <laughs> like you'll get a text hey bro uh can i get a, one of these and they'll send you a picture of the money rose and i'll be like yeah that's like 500 bucks because dude they're a pain you know yeah. you're doing a bunch of little dollar bills it's gonna take me five hours or yeah three hours or whatever but uh and then they'll just ghost you. They're like, Phew. and that. And then when you meet a lot of people with money roses, a lot of times they're just trash because they go to the dude that'll do it for twenty bucks. Sure, but <laughs> but there are. Hey, I've seen some super dope money roses mm-hmm. out there. So oh, I'm yeah. condemning them all. And there's people that pay good money for them that yeah. get like a sweet one. I, I have I have friends that have like a bunch of them in their portfolio. No. So it's not it's not everybody, but it is. It just happens to be. People aspiring, aspiring, <laughs> aspiring millionaires tend to want the money rose. Yeah. I would think maybe you get the money rose after you have the money. You'd, you'd, you'd think, you'd, you'd think you'd get the everything to show off that you have money after you have money. But I don't know, maybe it works. Maybe people see the money rose and they go, ah, you know, this dude's got money. It's like uh, it's one a, of those. It's like the same argument for, um, you, always, you always hear these things are like, oh, rich people don't buy rich clothing like rich people don't look rich 
you know it's kind of true <laughs> it's actually really true yeah but continuing um so we're, we're before the phone call we we're saying like what do you tell two people who want the same ah. who get the same tattoo who are expecting that tattoo to heal the exact same and it's just like what do you tell them like what's like the full yeah full I, thing? I just try to reset their expectations so they know the reality of what's going on because we're, we're doing a handmade type of art on a surface that's organic and you really can't control it I mean, some people are gonna hold darker lines. Some people, you could use the exact same setup and one person, uh, the line's gonna look thicker. And the other one, the purple's gonna have a little bit more of a cool shade to it for whatever reason, even though it came out of the exact same bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, one person, it you when you saturated, it went in a lot faster. So maybe you didn't saturate it as hard. And once they both heal, the, the person you thought saturated really well, it was a little bit less saturated, you know, but it's, only by 5%, but our, our eyes are so crazy. Like our human eyeballs are just like the craziest technical invention on the planet. Like they really are crazy. Yeah. So your eyes can see just the smallest little shifts. So you're, we're just capable of observing so much with our eyeballs that, you know, with all the crazy factors going on, mm -hmm. it, you're not likely going to get the exact same tattoo. There's right. just no way. In fact, there's a lot of tattooers who absolutely refuse to even deal with anything like that because they know. Right, because the aftermath will be someone like, well, we don't, they don't look the same. Like, oh, I, we, I, we were doing some one night and I even told the ladies before we started, it was two women. I, I told them before we started, like, hey, this is handmade. You know, we're doing matching tattoos. Mm -hmm. Like, I really, and it, it, I, would, I wasn't even doing both. Like, I was doing one. I think Maddie was doing the other. And... I was like on one that night, just kind of goofing off and we're doing the tattoos and I was kind of making jokes like, well, you know, they're handmade. I kept, I kept on that kind of line of, right. Of joking around and it got to the point where they were like starting to get upset about it. So I kind of like killed the joke, but by the time they left, they were like pissed off that the tattoos weren't like perfectly the same because Maddie did one and I did one. Right. And we just, You're we not going to tattoo the same. No, we don't, no we way. just don't tattoo the same like at all. Like, no. so these women were like super upset and it was like a rose with like a name in it. Sure. So it was just like how you shade a rose is so differently for every tattooer. Cause we've all done a million roses. And I think, I don't even think we had a reference we were working from. I think we both had like line work of a rose. It, just the chances of these tattoos coming out the same were, were just, it was too, too big of a gap and yeah. like the women were upset and, yeah, you know, they didn't complain or anything, but I could tell when they left, like, yeah, you know, I think we didn't, like, they didn't tip us. And right. They, they were like mad. It seemed like we weren't even trying. And maybe we weren't trying at some point. <laughs> but I thought I'd made it very clear that you're not, I mean, there's matching tattoos, and that's cool. Some yeah. people dig matching tattoos. We've yeah. talked about this in the past. Yeah. But, but having like two identical tattoos that are exactly the same, good luck. I, I, th I think if they look, I think if they look, close and i think they look the same enough you should be happy about that like if they if they if you can see look at both of them side to side and you can barely tell the difference consider yourself lucky yeah but i think i don't know we're not machines and yeah i mean i dare any musician to play the same exact song right the same way or right. sing it with the same tempo with the same feel you're not gonna do it now would you would you kind of recommend to alleviate that uh, to get the same tattoo like if you want to get a matching tattoo with your friend should you get both those tattoos done by the same tattoo artist? Sure. Would that matter? Yeah, I mean, that, that'd matter. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. If it's super important, I would get it on the same location. Mm -hmm. And if it's super important, I would recommend you both get to the same body fat percentage. You know, if one person's at like 25% body fat, you want to match their body fat. Yeah. The two of you both need to stay out of the sun for at least a month. So we're going to make it even, super even. Yeah. Same diet. Dude, same diet. Yep. The, the right amount of uh, vitamin D, the right amount of oils. Like you really, if you want the same tattoo. Like it has, like you have to be the same, you have to be the same person. Yeah. And there, there are tattooers out there that can do like a certain type of saturation that'll just really cover the whole thing no matter what. Mm -hmm. They're not going to help you with your, your endeavor. But there are people out there that tattoo a certain way where it's super heavy saturated. Yeah. 
and they, they could probably help you out. They're not going to, I guarantee it. Right. Because they're busy doing real stuff that that's important more than copying, like making matchy tattoos. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could like create the ideal circumstances to get something really close. Sure. But it would be silly. It's just crazy silly. Yeah. I yeah. think, it, uh, yeah, matching tattoos are. I mean, it's, it's cool or whatever. I mean, I got matching tattoos with buddies and stuff, like funny stuff. But, but I'm a tattooer, so I get it. Right. Like, I get, I get what's going on. And some people don't. Some people just really think like, okay, well, I'm going to get a flower and this other person's going to get a flower and they're going to look exactly the same. And everywhere we go for the rest of our lives, we're looking at the same tattoo.